Okay, hey guys, and welcome to another section of my Cisco practice questions. And today, I'm going to talk about Cisco Discovery Protocol (CDP). So, we'll be doing plenty of questions related to that. So, we'll start off with uh, two thirteen. You need to identify other Cisco devices on the network. Which Cisco protocol do you use? Now, this is pretty straightforward, basic stuff. We're not spanning tree point to point. Cisco Discovery and Cis Discovery Device Protocol. We're talking about CDP. So, the answer is C. Cisco Discovery Protocol. Nice, simple one to start us off there. 214, you are connected to the console port of the router R3, shown in the figure below. When you use CDP to display other network devices that have been discovered, what devices will you see? Got to remember that uh, CDP is simply the devices that are directly connected um, to, I guess, any sort of device. Uh, if we have a look R3, what's directly connected to R3, so we've got switch 3, R1, R2, so that will mean the answer is D. 215, which of the following statements are true in regards to CDP? Select 3, so we've got a couple to choose from here, I'm just going to walk through, this will be sort of a matter of knowledge I suppose, more, more so than anything. So we've got uh, Cisco is a Cisco proprietary call, protocol, that's true. And it runs at the data link layer as well. And it discovers directly connected devices. Not all devices, only directly connected. So those are the answers there, as I just mentioned. 216, you are the network administrator for the network shown in the figure below. Your manager would like to ensure that CDP advertisements are not sent out to the internet from router H01, head office one, I'd say. But they should be sent to the Toronto and Boston routers. What should you do? Uh, disable CDP on the interfaces, router 1 and router 2 that are connected. Disable CDP on the head office router. Disable CDP on each interface on router 1. Disable CDP on the interface connected to the internet. For this one, we, we want uh, obviously CDP advertisements between these guys. But between Boston and Toronto, but we don't want it coming from head office one. So we would disable it at D, the internet. So then it would stop there, but then still allow these two to be CDP neighbors. 217, you are the network administrator for a small network. You are connected to the console port on a switch and would like to telnet into the router on the network, but you forget the IP address of the router because you're silly. What command could you use to determine the IP address of the router? Show IP interface brief, show CDP neighbors detail, show CDP, or show IP neighbors. Simply a command, so this will generally sort of be um, rote learned. Uh, the answer is B, show CDP neighbors detail. That command will help bring that information up for you. 218, there is a switch on the network called, I'm going to call it New York, switch one. <laughs> what command would you use on the router to determine the model number of the switch? But show CDP entry, New York, switch one, show CDP, show CDP with the name, show CDP protocol, NYSW1. Okay, so in this instance, it's another command, and a matter of rote learning, it's uh, a Show CDP entry. 219, the frequency at which CDP messages are sent out is known as the CDP hold timer, CDP stat, CDP interval, CDP timer. Answer is D, CDP timer. 220, by default, how frequently does a Cisco device send out CDP advertisements? I feel like there's a lot of uh, questions that have generic answers that sort of are just fundamentally what they are. The answer is B. 60, every 60 seconds it does. 221, you wish to view only the IP addresses of the neighboring devices. What command do you use? We've got show CDP entry star protocol, show CDP neighbors, show CDP neighbors detail, and show CDP. I've said CDP about a million times already. The answer is A. 222, by default, when a Cisco device Receives a CDP message, how long does it store the CDP information locally? I actually somehow remember this from when I was doing my Cisco, I think last year, year before, so it was a year before last. It is D, 180 seconds. 
223, you'd like to alter the amount of time that CDP information is stored on a Cisco device. What command would you use? It's basically commands of CDP, as you can see here. CDP timer, store, hold time, retain. The answer in this case is C. CDP hold time. 224, what command do you use to disable CDP on the serial interface? So you've got disable CDP, CDP disable, no disable CDP, no CDP enable. Not many of those make sense, but I took a crack with this one and going by, they love the word enable in their syntax. Uh, that gave me to lead the answer being D, no CDP enable. 225, you'd like to alter the frequency at which CDP sends out advertisements to every 90 seconds. What command would you use? Now you've got to be careful of what, what mode we're in. In the answers here, CDP time 90, CDP 90, CDP 90 in uh, global config mode, and CDP time 90. It's easy to go, oh yeah, that looks right, but you've got to be in the config there. The answer is D. Router 1 config, CDP timer 90. 226, your manager is concerned that hackers can discover information about the network via CDP and ask you to disable CDP on your router. What command would you use? We've got disable CDP, seems a bit too simplistic. No CDP run, no CDP enable, no disable CDP. So the answer in this case, we've got B, no CDP run. And that is all folks, thanks very much for joining in, uh, I've got my website there, onlinecomputercoaching.com if you want to see some more videos and training and I've got plenty of other stuff on my uh, YouTube channel as well if you guys are keen to check that out, uh, also plenty of Cisco stuff for you. Uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe if you're wanting to see more of these and the subscribers, uh, I really appreciate every each and every one of you, so it does mean a lot when you click that subscribe button, it would be much appreciated guys, thanks for sticking around, I'll catch you guys all next time.